Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So today I'm going to show you how to take a piece of angle iron and be able to bend it into a curve. Now this doesn't require any other special tooling. In fact, you could do this at the anvil yourself. But today I'm going to show you the method using my home built power hammer. Uh, if you're interested consequently in plans for the hammer that I'll be using today, you can always go check out our website at blacksmithpdfs.com and you can purchase some downloadable plans there uh, in order to build it for yourself. Uh, this is a great way of so not only supporting Jessica and I and what we do on this channel, uh, but it's also a great way of giving you a head start on building your own power hammer. So today I'm going to show this process using the power hammer. The same method would apply at the anvil. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first step in this is you need yourself a fuller. You need yourself a fuller of some kind. And what we're going to do in order to get this to bend is we're going to take and use this fuller as kind of a guide on just the inside edge of this. And you'll see how that starts to curve that around. Okie doke everyone, so here you can definitely see how easily that that took and made that curve on a piece of angle iron. Now usually angle iron, if you try to just take and bend it, say lock it uh, in a vise and just give it a bend, what ends up happening, happening with it is it tries to buckle. Well, because of the way angle iron is made, it cannot buckle. It, it kind of it resists the buck the urge to buckling, and so what happens when it resists that urge to buckle, it actually twists, and you start getting a spiral-like shape or a corkscrew shape out of it. So this is the best method that I have found without having to get special rollers and tubing and uh, tubing benders and things like that that have special dies and rollers for bending angle iron. To be able to do this under the power hammer is very, very handy. Now, if you're going to be doing this at the at the anvil with a hand hammer, you need to take and get your piece hot, clearly. But the secret to the success of getting a nice smooth arc or smooth curve to it is progressive hammer blows that are all the same. So they have the same power, the same weight, the same authority on the piece. That is the real key there to take and getting a good, smooth uh, finish, not only a smooth finish like what you see here, but a really nice radius or a real nice arc. Now this can be used in a lot of different projects. This can be used in conjunction with other pieces of angle iron that you've bent to make all sorts of frames and different things like that that maybe you otherwise wouldn't have been able to make out of the angle iron for different installations and who knows what else. Um, this particular angle iron frame that I've been working on is for a fireplace frame with an arched top. So there again, looking at the world just a little bit differently, understanding your fundamentals very well and understanding what the material is doing, uh, the cause and effect will really help you out with something like this. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a like. Uh, that helps the channel out as well. Again, if you're interested in any power hammer plans or anything like that, uh, educational resources and additional information about Jessica, and I, about Jessica and I and all of our business and how we can take and help you, please go check out our blacksmithpdfs.com 
website. The link for that will be down in the description below. As always, God bless you all, and thanks for watching.